Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later, Nancy. Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. It's always nice to come back to the Big Apple, and now I get to stay with a famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. With 5 a.m. shoots, a million lines to learn, people all uptight and yelling. And now Rick's getting these death threats. Well, tell me about the death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. At first, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Weird? They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. Guess who? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. I'll hurry back to you. But first, I've got another case to solve. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Yes. Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. 
Have a nice day. It's open! Hello there. Oh, are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room. Except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. It's open. Hey, Nancy. Glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me more about Rick? Hmm, where should I start? Well, I've known Rick since I started acting. Well, after I got my big break with the touring production of Romeo and Juliet. We both played the leads. I guess it gave us good practice for the parts of Rory and Serena. So how long have you been a couple? You mean off-screen or on-screen? You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Actually, Rick and I are no longer dating. But come to think of it, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. Yuri Danner, Rick's twin brother. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke around here. You see, Rick's character has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get to makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. something to make this work. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Weiss. We're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! Clear him out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap. Clear him out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for today. Stage crew, you're on standby. I should set the clock. I need to find the key for this. It's locked. What kind of studio are you running here? My client could have been killed. I told you I'd get to the bottom of this. I've already closed the set to visitors. It's open. Oh, Nancy, this is horrible. There's no way that could have been an accident. I think it's another attempt to get Rick. The timing's just too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage. I'm too upset to deal with this. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. Entrez-vous. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Uh, River Heights? Touché. So, you're an old friend of Maddie's. She told me you were coming up to visit. She said you find me irresistible. Uh, actually, I find those letters you've been getting irresistible. 
I just love a good mystery. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well, mi casa es su casa. You know, my house is your house. Well, feel free to examine the evidence, Miss Drew, while I go off the wardrobe. Have a chocolate while you're at it. Stay beautiful. May I help you? Yes, hi. I'm a friend of Maddie's, and I'm- Do I look like a tour guide? Look, the set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. Hey, taxi! Where door, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. I understand, but now that the studio is closed to visitors, I'm at a dead end. There's got to be a way to get you back in the studio. Whoever's leaving these threats for Rick also has access to the studio. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. You know, my agent could get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything, they just need to have people standing by. Really? Who is your agent? Dwayne Powers. We've been friends for years. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. Would you do that? That'd help me get past Lillian and hopefully to the bottom of these threats against Rick. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Hi, George. It's Nancy. Nancy, how are you? Are you still in Florida? Did you ever solve that case you were working on? I'm in New York right now on another case. Get this. Rick Arlen from Light of Our Love is getting these scary death threats. You're kidding! Don't tell Bess that. She'll want to fly out there and save him. She absolutely adores Rick Arlen. So, have you met any of those other daytime superstars? Well, I have met Maddie Jensen. In fact, I'm staying with her. She's a friend of Aunt Eloise. Really? I like Maddie Jensen. Is she as nice in real life as she is on screen? I always heard soap stars can be a bit temperamental. She's nice, but I never get to see her because she's so busy. So, what's new with you these days? I'm starting to train for the annual River Heights Marathon next month. But, tell me more about your new case. What have you found out so far? Rick was almost killed by a falling Klieg light. Oh my gosh! Is he alright? Was it an accident? He's okay, but it barely missed him. Have you searched the area? Maybe the light was sabotaged to fall. I'm certain that it was. I found a light clamp on stage that looks as if it had been sawed through. That pretty much narrows your suspects down to someone in the studio. This had to be an inside job. Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. Hello? Hi, it's me! Hi! How's it going? I finally met THE Rick Arlen. That man has an ego the size of Texas. He's worse than Daryl Gray. I'm not sure I like you jet-setting across the country meeting all of these Enrico Suaves. So, are these threats he's been getting serious? Yes, and he's not only getting letters, but tainted chocolates, broken watches. Have you tried to find out where these objects are coming from? That might lead you to your culprit. So, what else can I help you out with? 
Guess what? I gotta look at the letters Rick has been getting. Some of them have the letters cut out of magazines, and some of them are typewritten. But get this, the Y is dropped on the typewritten letters. Hmm, sounds like two different MOs. But what a clue! Now if you can only find the typewriter that drops its Y. So, what else can I help you out with? I think that's it for now. I miss you. I miss you too. Goodbye. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. It's locked. Go away. Don't you understand? Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you about a job as an extra. I'm sorry. I'm in Suite 101. Come in. Come in. I apologize for my abrupt greeting. You must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. I'll be happy to meet with your assistant if you're too busy. Actually, I am in need of an assistant at this moment. I had to terminate my previous secretary. I'm afraid that my standards are rather high for most people. Well, I'm just starting out in the acting business. I hope my lack of experience won't hurt my chances of getting a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Oh, that's okay, Nancy. It's Nancy Drew, right? Maddie spoke highly of your abilities, and I am more than happy to give a young actor a chance, if I can. Normally, I don't do this, but seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I could pull some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. You're Rick Arlen's agent? Yes, I was. But I must confess that the man has no talent. Were it not for his good looks and charm, he'd never have gotten to where he is now. You see, Rick foolishly believes acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Well, Nancy, you must be anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call on me for any other needs you may have. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hi, I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Thank you, and uh, good luck. It's open! Yes, my dear. I need to get something for Maddie from the prop room. I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen to my riddle, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. What is full of holes but holds water? Nope. Try again. What is full of holes but holds water? Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. What has four fingers and a thumb but is not alive? Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. The more you make, the more you leave behind. That's it! I have stumped many people with my riddles, but you are quite the sleuth. You may go and enter the prop room now, while I go and unpowder my nose. <laughs> the typewriter drops its Y.
it's open. Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me a part, just like that. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. Actually, the feeling's mutual. Dwayne was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency. I guess to help him get out of his contract here. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Be careful, okay, Nancy? Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Cam Loops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Oh no, not while I'm with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. Oh, Rick. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. 